What makes the Marine Corps unique? Our ability to get from ship to shore and fight once we get there. That's what this vehicle does for us. That's why it's service defining. Essentially what we have to do is we have to get those vehicles ashore or to the vicinity of the shore from much greater distance. What we're looking at is um, pushing harder with regards to connectors like LCACs um, and the LCUs to get those programs replaced. Um, right, there's also under development, there's something called the Ultra Heavy Amphibious Connector, the UHAC. According to the specifications we're seeing, and they have a half-sized model built that demonstrated uh, the, the specifications, it can lift about as much as an LCU and it can go two-thirds as fast as an LCAC. These wheeled vehicles will have higher ground clearance, V-shaped hull, independent tires so that they can be blown off and keep going, and then suspended seats on the inside. The protection-wise, um, we're not restricted to weight because we're not trying to do it at high water speeds. That means you can put more armor on these vehicles, um, which we're certainly going to do. They have the V-shaped hull, hull I talked about earlier, um, but some of the testing we've done, we, we built a technology demonstrator and used it out at the Nevada Automotive Test Center. Um, we blew wheels off this thing with IEDs and the thing was able to drive out of the, uh, the uh, ambush area. And that's ideal. Take a hit, keep moving. Um, and with the V-shaped hull and suspended seats, the people inside are much better protected because it's higher off the ground. Um, one of the things we found in Iraq and Afghanistan was our seven tons, though, which weren't specifically built for IEDs, did much better than our other vehicles because they had such better higher ground clearance. It's going to be lethal, more lethal, it's going to be faster, uh, the troops inside are going to be better protected, and so that's why we're going after the ACV.